We have some big changes coming up. Craziest clarity. I know. You can't get over it. It's one of the last sails on Vinyasa. Oh, lobster trap. Over 50 feet of water. You can still see the bottom here. We're still gonna go to the beach and clean them up. And then, uh, yeah, guess what it is? Real quick in the comments below before we <laughs> tell you what it is. I'm Therese and this is Cody. After meeting in Fiji, we decided to continue living our lives together. With a love for the ocean, we upgraded and combined our shelters to a 40-foot sailboat and started exploring our options. While working, fighting, loving each other and dreaming, we also managed to make a human. This is Millie Breeze, our little girl we hope to teach that life is simple if you let it. Subscribe and join us with the world at our keel. Our mission now is to, I picked my face so bad. Um, mission now is to um, get north a little bit, try to venture out. We have some big changes coming up and um, whew, it's gonna be another summer season for the books for sure. I'm trying to get up, go back to see Alex and Taylor. Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna try to do that. Spend some time with uh, Sally and Isabel before, before we have dead west. So you know that feeling when you're out at sea is uh, day is about to become night and you've been through your first few fights of the passage. Nope. Don't know that. Oh well. This is a good feeling. Lily just uh, woke up. We're about to get into our groove I think. This is honestly the best time with Millie when she's this snuggly. She doesn't really like to be whole, like held too much. Or... So we're underway north. I'm trying to reach Highborn Key for like in the morning sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's going a little slow, so it's going to be fairly around. I'm going to guess noon. <laughs> Which will give us daylight over the yellow banks on our way to Spanish Wells. Ooh, five and a half knots. It's a good little burst. Yeah, I think it'll be good not too far. It should be about a day, maybe a day and a half if it's really slow. But, yeah. Your sail's flapping a little. It's a little mm -hmm. choppy out, but it's not too bad. Oh, all is good. Ooh. Feel the wind increasing a bit more as the sun goes down. And that was it. What was that? <laughs> Keep on trucking on. begins with H. So we're going across the banks from Highborn Key to uh, Nassau or we're going to uh, Spanish Wells. We're going over the Yellow Banks and it's just a lot of random coral heads right here. We have timed it pretty good. We're going with the sun high above our heads. The water is super clear today. There's hardly any wind. Just keeping a little bit of apparent wind in our sails right now going across I'm just like, trying to scout out if I can see any coral heads that we need to avoid but seriously it's like a swimming pool out here today but I mean look at this such a weird weather right now it's super hazy it's yeah it's a lot of fog around, but it's so clear and quiet and still. We have to motor, there's hardly any wind. I'm seeing like lobster hotels everywhere. There's one right over here. Where? And we can like, you can see straight to the bottom everywhere here. It's 20 foot right here, so it's not too deep, but you see everything. Oh man, yeah. If we were out for lobster right now, we could probably 
get a lot of it. <laughs> Dive these hotels on like really stock up, but. Yeah, we might even find a shipwreck at this point. Yeah, right? Just a piece of like aluminum sheet metal uh, on a couple pieces of two by four to raise it off the bottom. There's one right there too. It gives the uh, lobster a place to hide while they're crossing the banks. And uh, locals will set them out so that way they can come by, flip it over, and have like some of them have like a lot of a lobster. Lot of lobster in them. <laughs> yeah, they can be full of lobster underneath if they haven't been checked in a while. Oh, that one's been moved recently, see? Right there, we're yeah. going over. See any antennas? <laughs> not much of a sail, but... Yeah, not much of a sail. It's not a big one. It's one of the last sails on Vinyasa. Oh, lobster trap. <laughs> Is there really? I'm not even kidding. It was outside of it. What's up? You mad? Nah. Absolutely no way. Over 50 feet of water. You can still see the bottom here. No, no climbing. Mm-mm. <laughs> No, you have to wait a whole year. Yeah. 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 Into the mud rolled the big fat truck and the big important wheels got stuck, stuck, stuck. So Cody's out spearfishing, possibly the last day of spearfishing in the Bahamas. Millie and I, it's like scorching out. We're gonna go swim and we've got this awesome float now that got donated from Lost. Um, check out the Young Cruisers Association. Um, dot org, YCA. Uh, but yeah, there it was a part of the flotilla, flotilla, whatever it was that we were a part of. And I'm gonna put Millie in here because she she can't get out of that one. So um, and then I might be able to take a shower. <laughs> Let's go. Shower time. Oh my gosh, the struggles. <laughs> it's fun though. Cody came back with some new exciting stuff that he didn't film catching underwater, but um, we're still going to go to the beach and clean them up. And then, uh, yeah, guess what it is? Real quick in the comments below before we <laughs> tell you what it is. Teddy Milk. There's a rooster on the beach. Uh, the pigs are right here. Do I know that 
that? Hey, what about that uh, bird that you scared last time? The turkey? He might come get you this time. You hear it? No. No, are you kidding me? No. <laughs> what we caught today. Wait, is he still? Whoa, look at this. Catch of the day. They say it tastes like scallop. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see here what it tastes like. Supposedly, really easy to clean. Yeah, this is done here. We got the pig, chickens, and the baby. So this is where we came to two years ago with our parents. Uh, and uh, we walked over the sandbank, tried to with the dinghy. The sign we pulled up was right over there. We did the bonfire there with Alex and Taylor and their, and their friend Jess a while ago. And now we're back. It's for our final hurrah in the Bahamas. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Taylor flies in tomorrow. She's been in the States. And uh, maybe that's her. We all started eating right away, so we don't really know the best percentage dish here. But we got uh, stingray and some coconut milk and some sauce that we mixed up with some spaghetti. And the verdict is in the very tender meat. Yeah, mm -hmm. scallops. Mm -hmm. stingray? Let's give you some pasta. Getting ready to leave. It's pretty sad actually. Don't feel very good about it. Well, feel good about the sale, just don't feel good about leaving. But uh, we've got a lot to do. Big changes as always. So yeah, stay tuned. We're getting everything ready here. Yeah, pulling out everything we need for safety, trying to clean up the cockpit so that everything is good and organized before we go. Millie's sleeping, so it's pretty good. Head over to Freeport from Spanish Wells. Should take about 20, 24 hours and pick up a spear gun. And then we're gonna try to shoot straight for St. Augustine. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's gonna be a weird sail this time.
or less, Sharky. Till next time. We'll see you guys. See Bye. you soon. You turn the radio on too. First one by yourself, and now you're onto the second. So you don't do this again. Yeah. How can we block some staircases? If anyone has any good ideas, let me know, because I feel like this ninja is able to crawl up about everything. Yeah. Can you come back down though? See that? If you slip and fall, it's gonna hurt. See, this is why you can't do it by yourself, okay? How are you going to do that? You need help. I'll figure out how to scare you. You still scared of the vacuum? Because we can try that. Hmm? No, no, no. Hey. Go down. No. No. Mama, see you tonight. Nice. Nice. 